what are you teaching your children? What are we teaching our children of the planet? What relation do we have to this air? What relation do we have to this water, to this food, to our planet and to our sun? Are these just objects that we pillage for resources and then sell in an economy? Or are these sacred and divine things? How do we teach our children? Do we even collectively recognize that the same water that we are drinking now is the same water that dinosaurs drank? That that same water cycle has been happening for billions of years. The same water that makes up 70% of your body, the same water that you drink for hydration, that you shower with to clean, is all part of that hydrological cycle on this planet. Do we teach children that? Do children truly embody that knowledge, that wisdom deep within their core? We are here on the unceded territory of the Musqueam, a First Nations people of Canada in British Columbia here in Vancouver. And this is all super sacred to them. And it's becoming more and more clear that Canada is focused on teaching their children about the First Nations. And they're trying to do their best to heal what has been a series of hundreds of years of trauma for their First Nations people. Here we are at the beautiful University of British Columbia at their Museum of Anthropology, where they house all so many of the First Nations artifacts here. And they have a co-creative relationship, a harmonious relationship with many of the First Nations indigenous tribes that then help teach young children about the truth of their history. We in the United States and around the world can do better at teaching our children about the truth of indigeneity and the truth about colonialism and the truth about the traumas that it has caused and further progress the healing that needs to happen in order for us to all be whole and for us to all consciously evolve together. What are we teaching our children? Think about it. Think very carefully about what we are teaching our children. Think very carefully about how it can be more about interconnectedness, interdependence on each other and nature, and not feelings of separation. Think very vigilantly about how it can be about augmenting the existing educational fabric to teach more about the First Nations around the world and what colonialism did and how we can heal that trauma, how we can integrate best together moving forward. This is paramount. Canada is doing this well. They are healing well. And the United States can learn a thing or two. Imagine if California did this. Imagine if the East Coast did this. Imagine if all around the world we did a better job at truly teaching our children about First Nations people and about the history of what has happened and how to best integrate moving forward, how to best heal. This is a great learning lesson and I'm very grateful to be here. Thanks everyone for tuning in and remember, what are we teaching our children? Ask yourselves, ask each other, and make this a first principled point of this reality we find ourselves in.